Hi, Katie. It is Monday, July 15th. I've been up since about 9 o'clock. I've got a lot of stuff done. And by a lot of stuff, I mean I got up and I went to yoga and I'm feeling it. And I took a shower when I got back. Because if you don't take a shower after yoga, that's kind of gross. So, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that today will not be the makeup challenge video because I have no male friends today and also when I asked my brother he kind of just laughed and said no way if I tried to touch any of that makeup stuff he'd probably break it and I don't even have a lot of makeup stuff I really there's like three things that I use and I'm not using any of them today because I just don't want to put it on my face. The good news is that this challenge will not go unfinished. It will happen one day, probably when I'm up at school, but it will happen and I will post it here on a Monday video day, but today is not that day. So, sorry. You'll just have to live with it. I would still enjoy seeing Friday if you had Joe try to do your makeup because that would just be hilarious. You should do that. Just do it. I need to show you something and you've probably already seen it before but I don't care. I'm going to show you it again. This is a nine foot long Rapunzel tie blanket. I know what you're probably thinking. Courtney, you're only five feet tall. Why do you need a blanket that's nine feet long? And the answer is simple. The answer is because I need to be a blanket burrito like 98% of my time. I need to be a blanket burrito. There's really nothing better than being a blanket burrito because you're warm and it's great and you're all like swaddled like a little baby and we all like to be swaddled. All babies like to be swaddled. I will never ever ever Listen to someone who tells me that babies don't like to be swaddled, because they do. You can still stick your feet out. You don't have to be, like, full-on burrito. I like to be a blanket burrito in the winter, like, full-on blanket burrito. But, you know, in the summer, sometimes it's nice to have your feet sticking out so then it's not as hot. But I just really love my blankets, and my bed is usually my favorite place to be because I have probably seven or eight full-size blankets on my bed right now along with over 12 pillows and lots of stuffed animals and I'm almost 20 and that's okay I'm cool with having all these stuffed animals I think that my blankets and my pillows alone take up more than half of my bed but that's okay because I'm a small person and I don't need that much room on my bed as long as I'm comfortable I'm cool with it I have never ever ever understood how a person could sleep with one pillow and one blanket. How do you do that? How? I don't know. I don't know. It's like magic or something. They must be wizards. I think if I was a wizard, I would still want to have lots of blankets and pillows. I would probably get my wand and whip up some more blankets and pillows just so I was extra comfy. Today, I'm going to talk about why Pinterest is ruining my life. There are, there are days where I will sit on Pinterest for upwards of six to seven hours. Laying in my, in my bed, usually in a blanket burrito, I am on Pinterest. And I'm telling you that it is bad. And I know that it's bad, but I can't help it. I just can't. There are so many magical things that you can find on Pinterest that I wouldn't have known about anywhere else in the whole entire world. For example, there is a recipe for a food item that would probably be the most delicious thing in the entire world when I make it. You put a piece of cookie dough down and a graham cracker and some chocolate and marshmallows and another graham cracker so you got a s'more and then you place another piece of cookie dough on top of it and then you kind of smoosh it together so the cookie dough is all closing around the s'more thing and then you bake it you put it in the oven and you bake it like a regular cookie and then when you bite into it boom cookie and a s'more what could be better i don't know i don't know 
Also, I find the greatest pieces of clothing on Pinterest. Pinterest is where I find all my good clothes. There's a tank top that has a Despicable Me minion on it. And it says one in a minion. That's funny. And I need it. I have about, let's see. 250 pins just on the things that I can make by myself on a craft board. Have I done any of these? Yes, I have probably done like four of them. But I pin them just in case I ever want to do them. You know what else I pin and then usually never do? Workouts. I have over a hundred workout pins of ways to get toned arms and ways to get toned legs and ways to get a six pack ab thing. I'm, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I do yoga and that's about the extent that I go to. Which I'm not downplaying yoga because that is hard. You have to do things with your body and you stretch things that you didn't even know could be stretched. Didn't even know your body had but you're stretching them and then you feel it. But these workouts on Pinterest I pin and then I think oh yeah those are cool and then I usually never do them. Those are just small ways that Pinterest is ruining my life and I'll probably make another video solely dedicated to things on Pinterest that I see that make me want to do but probably never do and it's ruining my life because I waste so much time looking at these things and not actually doing them. So Katie, I will see you on Friday.